I think I'm going to do is slide both of these forward 3 16 which could make worse the problem through this area where at least one of them is wanting to overhang too much. But it would allow me to try to complete this joint and still have enough overhang at the bow and see if I can make that work. Still thinking of no-brainer things to do because I'm not really sure how to attack this. So we're gonna mask this off. When we get to gluing on the rail, we'll eventually want to be able to run a bead of uh, epoxy caulking. And I don't want any of that on the urethane. So the mask off. Leave about an eighth of an inch over the masking tape. Continue to think <laughs> what to do. I'm kind of leaning toward just gluing this on and seeing if we can force it and screw it into a good enough overhang all the way along. Well, I don't know what else to do, but try to glue them on. Position the stern, clamp and screw the bow, and then start working our way back toward the stern, I think. Trying to keep as close as we can to the proper offsets. And then we're gonna mix up some epoxy cover the undersides of each of the two rails and the tops of the shear and see if this works. The last little bit I put some thickener in there and we'll just kind of build up the middle of the contact point. Will you? Really not sure this is going to work. Oh, the, the, um... This is, I'm trying right now to install these rails. So, I'm going to get centered the, the right offset. Problem is, uh, especially this one on the port side doesn't want to fit the right shape. Will you be able to clamp these together? I'm making this up a little bit as I go along. Yeah. It's, it, this is a scary move right now. I'm not, I've been giving it about a 70% chance that it's going to work. Uh -oh. Yeah. Are you 
I am. Yeah, you guys want to come up and say hi to the camera? Come on in. <laughs> Introduce your doggie. That is awesome. This is the Ferguson's. Hi. He also built this garage, by the way. Right on, man. The problem is, the, these guys uh, are not exactly fitting the curve that I need, and so I'm trying to get an even overhang all the way along. Stand the mast up and everything. And uh, this is much like the one that my friends Brian and Kim wanted me to build them, sailing robot, but I've changed plans a little bit. So we finished that thing, and before we gave it to them, we were trying that, we're like, damn, this is nice. <laughs> <laughs> we need one. So I thought, well, I'm going to do this one more time. I'll try to video document it, which may or may not turn out. <laughs> now, I've got a dumb question. I guess it's just the way you cut the wood. Sure. Is it how you get it to boat? Not, it's not really boat, but... The plywood is... Like that. The plywood is uh, just that quarter inch stuff over there. Okay. So, so the only kinda... place it really fought me was right up in here on the bottom where it goes from here almost vertically. I had to wet it and clamp it over by the gotcha. to get it to cooperate. But other than that, it really wasn't too bad. What, what, um, how did you learn uh, start getting fascinated by sailboats? Uh, my uncles, when I was really little, like two years old, I remember being up on the shore of Lake Erie and watching them launch a little sailfish, which is like preliminary to the sunfish boat that's becoming really popular. So they're just sailing off on the beach, and I'm like, I want to come, or you can't. And that was it. I was hooked. That's great. Too. And reading Treasure Island. Uh, thanks for saying hi. I'll we'll, uh, we'll let you know when it's up, going up on YouTube. What's the name of the doggy? Here. That's one side. I think we managed to pull this into line. I had to put some tension on, on the whole thing, but... I think it's okay. Oh man, it's back to winter again. We got up uh, really early, like 4 a.m. and cleared off the work queue a bit and then uh, came out here to check on things. I went ahead and took the um, tape and paper off because I didn't want this epoxy to cure on that tape and make that a big fight. Although, uh, before we call kind of there, I need to do it again, so maybe I can reuse that. <laughs> we'll see. And took the screws out so they don't get all locked in. But, uh, you know, I'm really pretty happy with this. I'm going to sand it, <clears throat> uh, smooth out the edges. I need to make a couple more pieces. I'm going to trim the edges of this transom cap to slide up under there and make a little piece that you know, sits underneath here and provides a little radius that sort of parallels the radius that we'll put on the very tip of the bow. And I took the bevel uh, for here and there, reflected that onto these we need to cut a continuation of that little bevel on across there and these guys this guy should then slip in underneath those two I'm not quite sure how to make those cuts oh just held the circular saw up seems to have been close enough let's see need to have to make another one of these that's for sure let's see how far off it is we'll just need to trim back just a little bit so that lip will come up over.
Now we gotta make this little guy. We need to remove enough of this uh, piece of stem to put the little filler block in. Use the Dremel saw to come up vertically. I probably should have done it before. But I've sawn through the keyhole saw to re remove the connection up underneath here. Let's just see if we can get some. that up underneath there with a the board behind it and trace that uh, shape and we got a same piece of the same wood so the grain should should blend hey you all right just designing the little uh, joiner piece that goes up up in there so we have to route around this and leave this high, this face, something like that. And the depth that we need to route to is slightly more than our 3 8 the very corners of those but they're going to get rounded over with the router anyway Too much epoxy, so we'll go ahead and mix up some dark honey. Fill our holes. Yeah, gotta head off to Atlanta for uh, most of the rest of the week. I think that came out really well. Get a little bit more putty in there, sand, sand that to the shape. But what I'm really looking forward to is hitting this sapele with a coat of epoxy and seeing that grain come to life. Christmassy here at 4 a.m. Nice and Christmassy here.